Dave, you're at the Farnborough 2018 Air Show. Now, Makino, it's a, it's a wonderful bit of kit, the machines, but what's the significance with Makino, NCMT and aerospace? OK, well, um, we're here by rights. You know, this is an aerospace show, not a machine tool show. And yet, Makino have developed machines specifically for the aerospace market. So they're not general purpose machines that are just uh, used in the aerospace field. They're dedicated machines, uh, perfected to machine aluminium, titanium, um, at the most pr productive rates. And then, of course, there's the grinding side as well. And that's important to NCMT because we're not only um, making that offering from Makino in the UK market, but also across Europe. And when you look at the portfolio of products Makino, they've also got the EDM side, haven't they? Correct, and uh, we're seeing an increased uh, use of EDM, of course, in the aero engine uh, side of things. And Makino have developed a machine specifically for small hole drilling on uh, turbine blades and vanes, and uh, very, very productive uh, 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 machine tool. And uh, that's also winning some good success in the UK market. And when you look at the aerospace market in the UK, how big a proportion is that for NCMT? Well, for NCMT, it's the largest sector that we serve, and uh, it represent, represents somewhere in the order of 70% of our business. So, as you can tell, it's uh, an extremely important uh, part of our activity being at this show. Now, I've been to Farnborough for many years, and it's very much a, a networking opportunity. Absolutely. You don't have a stand uh, with a machine, but you do have a hospitality uh, suite. How do you use that with your customers? Well, of course, we invite a number of our VIP customers to meet with us, to network in the chalet that we have here. And uh, it's a good environment in what is quite a, a noisy show. And it also gives many of our customers who are exhibiting here a little bit of a break. They can come and spend maybe a, an hour, half an hour with us just over a cup of coffee or something to eat, you know, to, to give them a break away from them doing their own business on their own booths so uh, we're able to, to network at a very very high level unlike a machine tool exhibition. Now Makino is certainly one of the uh, highest level uh, machine tool builders in the world. Now the perception of Makino in the UK is it affordable to companies who may not think that they can actually go down this route? I think uh, we always move away from the headline price of course because it's cost per component you know, the Makino is not ever going to be the cheapest machine tool that you look at. However, it will deliver higher productivity than some of the lower cost uh, options that are out there. And when Makino have developed a machine that's specific for machining titanium, we have high torque, very high flow coolant uh, rates. You know, these are all things that not only deliver but cutting performance, but also good tool life as well. So. Yes, the machine is not the cheapest in the market, but when it comes down to cost per part, that focus to detail that Makino have uh, delivers on a, on a price performance. On some of the models that you actually have, automations are obviously a big key, but they're actually designed with that in mind, aren't they? That's right, and uh, most of our applications for certainly the grinding side are all automated. Um, the process can be very, very stable. If you've got the right machine tool, you have good, uh, good process control, then it's a logical step to automate it. And everyone wants to get cost out. You know, I mentioned, okay, machine price is one thing, but actually productivity is another. If we can produce unattended uh, over a longer period, Less manpower means more savings for our customers. And what message would you give to UK engineers that may be looking at high-end machine tools? Should they be talking to you? Absolutely, they should be talking to us. We've got a whole variety of solutions here um, in our bag. And, uh, uh, and, but they need to have a bit more of an open mind sometimes when they approach us so that they are looking at the bigger picture. Look at the life cycle costs of owning a, a Makino type machine tool and you know the reliability it gives, the lower service costs because if a machine's more reliable you don't have so many breakdowns and it's those interrupted uh, events actually that cost a lot of money in production. Well Dave it's, it's great to see you at Farnborough, thanks very much for your time, have a good show. Okay, thank you very much and you also have a good show.